Hey guys, Christina here. I'm finally filming my final uh, palette in the Naked Dupe series I was doing. So here I'm just starting off with my primer, which is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Primer and just putting that all over my face. Then here is the palette. It's the W7 Lightly Toasted Palette, which is the Naked One Dupe. Um, if you want to see a comparison, I don't own the palette, but like I said in my other videos, you can definitely look them up on uh, YouTube. A lot of them are not in English, but you don't really need them to speak English to see the colors. I'm just going to jump right in with Lady Luck and use that as a transition color. That's the awesome thing about this palette, even though it is a low-end palette. Um, it does have colors for the names, or names for the colors. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to apply that all over my eye um, with a fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to apply my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk to my lid. These colors are pretty pigmented on their own, especially the shimmery ones. But um, I do like to have a little bit of more oomph, so I decided to put the uh, white base just to make the color stand out even that much more since I am going to be doing a pretty neutral look. <laughs> Using this shimmery gold color called Twister, I'm just going to apply that from the inner corner to the center of my lid using my flat shader brush. Next, I'm going to take this bronze shimmer color called Didi and put that right next to the gold. And then using this really deep, deep, deep shimmer brown, I'm going to put that on the outer corners of my eyes. And that color is called Delilah. I'm just going to drag it into the crease and then blend it out with a fluffy brush. For foundation, I used my Revlon Nearly Naked foundation in the color 260 Caramel. I dabbed it on with my Beauty Blender and then blended it out with a brush. For my under eye concealer, I used the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser um, in the color Medium. So I'm just going to bronze, contour, whatever you want to call it like I normally do. The only reason why I kept this clip in is because I decided, because you know my brushes are missing because of the move, I decided to use that what they call a foundation brush that no one ever uses for foundation to draw my contour line. I don't know, I've never seen anyone do this before, but I was actually pleasantly surprised with how it came out. I'm now just going to go back in with Twisted and just apply that from my inner corner and then my waterline. Now I'm just going in with a black coal liner just to do my tight line. And I also found my beloved e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, so I'm just going to use that. I was so excited when I found it. I was so devastated when I thought I'd lost it. So yeah, just going to do my cat eye as usual. I'm using my CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara as well as my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I just wanted to double up my mascara just to give me maximum volume and length. 
So because this um, lilac was really plain, I kind of wanted to play with a really nice bold lip. So for my lip liner, I'm actually using this Natural Smoky Eyeliner, um, but I'm using it for my lips because I couldn't find a purple lip liner. And then I'm going to use my Milani lipstick in Violet Volt, I believe it's color number 34. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I just wanted to do the last palette in my uh, Naked series dupe thing because I suck at doing things and I felt like I should probably just do it even though it's like five months late. So this was the last palette and this is the W7 Lightly Toasted Palette which is the Naked One Palette dupe. Um, I really did like this palette. I think I would give its rating though. I would give this one like... A 7 out of 10 um, the colors are pretty nicely pigmented as you can see um, it's just I don't really know like some of them are kind of chalky like I feel like the shimmery ones are pretty like smooth and buttery but then the matte ones are like even though I know they're supposed to be a little more drying but they are like chalky and then these colors even though they swatch well on my finger they don't really hold well on my eyes um, but I really do I really did enjoy this palette so yeah I definitely give this palette about like a seven um, some of the colors are just kind of chalky but overall for like I said ten bucks it's a really good palette and I just decided to do some purple just to you know have like a little bit of a bold lip and just something different so that's pretty much all I have to say I'm speed talking because my battery's about to die don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that I know you guys are enjoying my content and if you're new please subscribe so that you can see more of my videos because I don't have a set schedule so if you don't subscribe you're just never gonna know when I put videos up I was going for like a Wednesday Saturday but I don't know I'm too disorganized for schedules maybe later down the line but right now I'm making no commitments so yeah um, subscribe if you're new give this video a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and I wish you a world of peace love and happiness I'll see you in my next video bye Bang in the drum.